folks, it's your boy Jordan Mullen, you also known as Just Ball, back again with yet another reaction video. And here we are at it again tonight, today, whenever you're watching this from and wherever. The new trailer has dropped, and the new trailer is for Godzilla vs. King Kong. Now, this is something that it's not probably something for me. Um, yeah, Kong and Godzilla are just at my cup of tea with movies. The original ones were fantastic. Well, apart from Godzilla, Godzilla had some horrific ones. It's just that for me, this the humans have way too much role in the movies, and I'm like, these things are fucking monsters, they shouldn't have such a big role, you know. These things are so dangerous that every human it comes into contact with should be obliterated, like <laughs> basically. But this is this is a brand new Godzilla vs. Kong official trailer. I'm looking forward to to seeing what this looks like. Let's get straight into it. In a three, two. So let me get this straight. They knew that Godzilla was coming. Jesus. I wonder what is the, the purpose, what is the reason of them fighting? These are dangerous times. Godzilla's out there and he's hurting people and we don't know why. There's something provoking him that we're not seeing here. I'm not the same opinion. I love how, why do they give the humans such a big role in these movies? It does my head in. Like, it, it's like they know what's wrong with the fucking creature. They know what's wrong with the thing. No, they don't. Why would they? They're complete monsters. They're like, oh, they're misunderstood. No, they're not. They're monsters. I just find that bit hilarious. Like, these... That the human race has got such a big role in these movies. How about you cut down on that? If these two monsters are going to have a big old bout. Who's the king? Of the monsters basically. Fucking let them have it. Of course you need to slow, the down, slow down the movie and whatnot. Also you need to build it up. That's fair enough. That's perfect. Give us a little bit of the backstory. Then get into it a little bit. Then to, you know, why it's all happening. What's, why is Godzilla attacking? Why is this? Why is that? That's what they need to do. Instead of just giving the humans so much of a role. And they almost take up the entire movie. And you barely get to see a big old fight. Which is basically what this really should be about. It's about Kong versus Godzilla. Two of the biggest monsters. Um... But in this, in that, in that universe, so really. Yeah. Yeah. There was a war. Oh. 
wall. There was a wall. And they're the last ones standing. Oh. I'll... No, they're just completely giving the plot away. I fucking hate that with movies sometimes. And they put it in the trailer. And I'm like, we want to watch a movie. We want to figure out the plot. We want to figure out things. You go and tell us in the fucking trailer. We're not going to watch it. It's simple as that. So they're the last two standing from a, a great wall. In their, in their universe thing. So I'm, I'm guessing, I'm guessing, I'm guessing, I'm guessing, I'm guessing that Kong's supposed to be the hero of this. <sighs> you see, with these movies, they are, pe people make it perfectly clear that most of the time they're a big miss, especially for the likes of me. Right, I'm going to be honest. I don't mind a bit of action. Love it. Love a bit of action adventure. When it's done correctly, like Marvel, they do it correctly. Ma uh, DC, occasionally, Aquaman's the only one that I can actually say that's actually yeah, any decent. I didn't quite like Wonder Woman. I haven't watched the second because I saw the trailer and I, it just didn't entice me. But like I said, that is just my opinion. Some Most of the time with DC, they have big fat misses and like they'll show the entire story within the trailer. And you're like, you don't... Don't do that. Biggest pet peeve with movie companies is when they put the fucking story plot and they would have the entire movie into one fucking trailer. You're like, well, I'm not going to fucking watch it now, am I? You've just put the entire story in a trailer. I've just watched the movie. <laughs> I'm not going to watch it. I'm not going to pay a shit ton of money to go and watch it when I've just watched it. Like, honestly... It's that though, that it does look like a good movie. It'll be good to see two monsters slug it out. Is it something that I find appetizing in movie theaters? No, absolutely not. I think it's just a bit too far fetched. The humans have a bit too much of a role in it. And I'm like, these are fucking big old monsters. They shouldn't have such a big role. But at, at the same time, you can argue with that with. No, there's no movie then. Well, that's the point. There's no movie then. If you can't have any big actors in it. Sometimes, anime, you look at Pokemon, you look at Yu-Gi-Oh! You, uh, Digimon, these things had big old movies. These things had movies made. And they were some of the biggest things you've ever seen. Anime, but it was also a bit of action and adventure. <laughs> with anime and done well and that had a plot every single one of those movies that they did they had a plot then they wouldn't tell you it straight away from the get going trailers they'd give you hints of what it could be etc that's how you do it that's how you do it because for me, I, like I said, I grew up doing performing arts. I, I, I'm a massive lover of acting and singing and dancing. And But when I see movies nowadays, I'm like, I know I'm just going to get bored with most of them. I'm going to be bored because they're just not worthy of watching half the time. Because they put the entire movie in a trailer. And I'm like, I don't need to watch it now. I've just watched the thing. I've just watched the whole thing. Like they'll give the plots away. Then they'll give this away. Then this away. I'm like, you've just ruined it. And then they bring out the movie. And they're like, oh, we wonder why it didn't do so well. It's because you put the entire fucking movie in a trailer. I When I look at Marvel, I see how they do a trailer. They put the point across. These guys have have a fallout. Might have a bit of a tussle. What happens after that? I don't know. Do you want to come back the next time? Yeah. Because they actually have decent, decent writing. With very good character development. 
And you just sort of like, damn, these guys are decent. And that's why I've always kind of been drawn to Marvel, how they do their movies. They actually do their movies very, very, very well. And I will give them that. They really do. This, however, doesn't look like something I could get on board with. It doesn't look like something for my cup of tea. Um, like the first ever Kong movie, I actually really enjoyed that. And then I watched Godzilla and I was like, what is this? Like, what is this? I thought it was an okay movie, but I was like, oh, yeah. why is why does humanity have such a big part in this? It's a big old bar off creature. It's a monster. It can destroy you. Even eat you alive. <laughs> why are these surviving some of them? Why are they you just sort of like, eh? How do they contain him? He's a monster. It's kind of baffling. It is. It is a little bit baffling. They're not my. They're not my cup of tea. All right. They're, they're just not. But I might give it a watch and see if it's any decent. I mean, I think they've just told you the entire fucking trail, like the entire movie plot there. But that is where we're going to leave it for now, ladies and gents. I will be very shortly up and at it with the leftovers. We're going to be on Call of Duty. Uh, there's a fair view of us tonight, and uh, we're not live streaming, it's actually a recording session, and uh, we're going to get a, a fair bit of stuff recorded for you all. But that's it from me, folks. I will see you all later on. This has been your boy, John Among also known as Just Small. See you now. Take care. And peace. <laughs>